Welcome back for the final video of our bird ID series. Do you want to play a game? Yes? Awesome. I'll play a sound and give you four possible answers. Round one. Was that A, a wolf, B, a loon, C, a ghost, or D, Catherine? The answer is B, loon. Though the call of the common loon can sound lonesome to our ears, loons use this call to communicate with their mates. So romantic. Round two. Was that A, a robot, B, an alien spaceship, C, a gray-cheeked thrush, or D, a video game laser shooter? And the answer is C, gray-cheeked thrush. Like other thrushes, it has a complex flute-like song. This is too easy. It's obviously the birds because this whole video is about birds. Excellent point, Sassy Alter Ego. Those were too easy. Round three, the final round. A, a hawk. B, an eagle. C, a jay. Or D, a pterodactyl. Now this one was tricky. Movies may have led you to believe that was a bald eagle. Why? Because our national bird doesn't sound very intimidating. So movie producers use a red-tailed hawk instead. If you guessed A for hawk, you were this close. The answer is C for J. This Stellar's J was actually mimicking or copying a red-tailed hawk. Some birds, such as Stellar's Jays, Blue Jays, and Canada Jays, are known for imitating the sounds of birds of prey. Some people think this is meant to warn other jays that there is a real hawk nearby. Others think jays are trying to scare other birds away from food. Either way, song mimicry can make birding pretty confusing. Did you guess D, pterodactyl? Well, I've never heard of pterodactyl, so you might not be wrong. Birds are some of the most vocal creatures on the whole planet. Birds have a highly developed vocal organ called the syrinx. The syrinx allows birds to do two things that other animals, including humans, can't. They can sing two notes at the same time, and they can sing while breathing in and breathing out, so they don't have to pause to take a breath. Some birds sing truly beautiful songs. And some, some are just really noisy. But these sounds serve many important purposes. Chicks call to their parents when they're hungry. Some birds call out warnings when danger is near. Birds call to their mates or their flock to check in with each other while migrating or foraging for food. All birds call, but only some birds sing. Songbirds are in the taxonomic order Passeriformes, or passerines. These are the birds whose feet are well adapted for perching. More than half of the world's bird species are passerines. They are famous for performing complex, beautiful songs. These songs are mostly associated with springtime breeding activity, establishing territories and attracting mates. Singing as intensely as birds do is hard work. The better and longer a bird can sing, the more impressive it may be to a potential mate. Have bird songs ever woken you up at the crack of dawn? In spring, songbirds sing a dawn chorus. This may be their way of telling their neighbors that they're still around, ready to defend their breeding territory. For us humans, that makes mornings a great time to go bird watching. Most bird species have a unique song that helps distinguish them from others. Songs and calls can be the best way to identify birds, especially if two species look a lot alike. For example, crows and ravens look similar, but while crows make a sharp caw sound, ravens make a rumbly croak. Alder and Hammond's flycatchers look extremely similar, but again, their songs are different. By learning the unique sounds that birds make, we can become better bird watchers. Plus, sometimes it's easier to hear birds than it is to see them. Remembering songs can be really tough. Birders often use mnemonics or memory tricks to help themselves remember. Let's see some examples. Black-capped chickadees sound like they're greeting a loved one. Hey, sweetie. Robins sound like they're saying a cheerful British goodbye. Cheerio. White-crowned sparrows practically identify themselves. Dark-eyed juncos sound like an old telephone ringing. 
Townsend's warblers sound like they're winning a game of hide and seek. Are birds really saying these mnemonics? No. How can you be sure? Whoa. Either way, mnemonics do help us remember what birds sound like. To practice identifying birds by song, check out Cornell's online game, Birdsong Hero. And you can listen to birds on a number of bird ID apps, or on Cornell's All About Birds website. And of course, you can always go outside to hear some live performances. We hope that this series has inspired you to keep learning about birds and given you some of the tools to do so. Be sure to follow our Facebook page and YouTube channel for more great bird content. Thank you so much for watching.